Producing a good sound. Let's talk about how to make sound on percussion instruments. I'm gonna start on the drum pad with my, with my snare sticks. I have my feet shoulder width apart, good posture, standing up straight, and my, my snare pad is far enough away from me so that when I bring my hands up at a 90 degree angle, my elbows are near my side, the tips of my sticks just go right there on the drum pad. Now, what we really wanna do is get a bounce from the stick. So I'm gonna lift from my wrist, it's called hinge motion, like knocking on a door, lift from my wrist and use gravity to take the stick down. I just drop it. If I just drop it, it's not quite gonna bounce back up as high as I want it to, so the next secret is give it a little bit of speed, push a little bit into it, and then it'll bounce back to you. If your stick is ending down, or maybe it's not bouncing, check your grip. Your fingers are really supposed to be loosely kind of along for the ride as the stick moves in your hand. If they rest on the stick too much, then they can actually inhibit that rebound. You won't ever hold on completely unless you want a really dead sound, but we don't use that very often. So try to bounce just like a ball. Throw it straight down. While you're doing that, you need to check and make sure that you still have those good grip characteristics. You're holding one third of the way up the stick, that your palms are down, and that you see a triangle shape with the sticks in your body. So lift up with your wrist and throw them down so that they bounce. Next, let's talk about producing sounds on the, on the bells. This will go for any mallet instrument. Now I'm using hard rubber mallets, and I'm standing that same distance away with the same exact grip. Now I need to make sure that the head of the mallet is gonna be right in the center of the bar on the bell, on the bell kit. This way, uh, playing this instrument, you're actually only gonna lift up a few inches and hit right in the center and come right off the bar. You want it to ring. If you left the mallet on the bar, it would sound like this. It would just stop. Ding. So make sure you hit and come right off of it. Practice some with both your right hand and your left hand. Sometimes it's more important to practice with your non-dominant hand, the one that you don't write your name with, because it feels a little funny on that side. If you want to stop the sound, you actually reach down with your fingers and touch the bars. They're vibrating, so when your fingers touch, you'll stop that vibration. We don't ever dampen with the tip of our mallet until later when you get to some advanced jazz stuff. So just touch with your fingers for now. To produce a good sound on the bells, make sure that you're finding the very center of the bar. Right here, on many other mallet instruments, is going to have a tube underneath called a resonator. That's what amplifies the sound. But the best spot to get a most ringing sound is right in the center. If I played somewhere else, it doesn't quite sound the same. So to get your biggest ringing, fullest sound, play right in the center of all the bars.